Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate WPLMS with the Migrate Point System for WordPress. So first up, you need to go to the WordPress Admin Dashboard and in the Plugins, Add New Section, search for Migrate and install the Migrate plugin. So once you have installed and activated the Migrate plugin, you will be required you will be required to run the setup for the Migrate after which you will get a Migrate section in your WordPress dashboard. So as you can see I have already installed Migrate. Next is you need to go to the add-ons section. In the add-ons you need to enable the Migrate. All you need to do is simply click on the activate and Migrate will activate. So this is the only required add-on in Migrate for WPLMS add-on. Apart from this, there are several other add-ons which you are free to explore. Similarly, there are several hooks available in the Migrate which integrate with the BuddyPress itself. So you can add points for WooCommerce product reviews, you can add points for user registrations, you can add points for daily visits, so all these settings you can configure. Uh, you can also enable points for user referrals using this, using the hooks in the MyCred. And you also need to configure the payment gateways for MyCred. So the default is the PayPal payment standard. You need to enable this. And, and here you can set up the exchange rate for the points. So once you have enabled all these settings and in these settings you need to configure the bycred thank you and the cancellation page. So for the remaining core management point types and buddypress we can keep them as default. So once you have configured all the settings for the bycred you need to download the WPLMS add-on for Migrate, which you can download from our forum tutorial or from our GitHub repository. And you need to install it just like you install any other plugin from the plugins add new section. So after installing it, you need to activate it. So as soon as you activate it, on the front end you'll see the points for the current user besides the username. So clicking on the points will actually take you to the MyCred history in the user profile. On the WordPress admin panel you need to activate it activate the micred points from the micred add-ons and upon activation you'll see a micred points section in the micred section in WordPress admin panel. So this micred points section is useful for adding gamification options in WPLMS like you can award points for a student getting a badge or or getting marks above X percentage in a course or you can award points for user taking a particular course or finishing a particular course similarly for quizzes and assignments so which we'll cover later on in our tutorial so next is you need to create a page wherein user can buy credits so I have already created a page for this you need to use the use the short code mycred underscore buy and add the amount so this will actually appear as a button on the front end so I've already created this page for the demo so as you can see you can purchase the credits using this page so we're going to click on purchase 
which, which will take you to the default payment gateway that is PayPal on the back end you can approve this transaction from the MyCred pending payment section and you can click on payout so as soon as you click on payout if we reload our front end we get the test point purchase so next is we need to add points to a particular course so that a particular course can be purchased through points so we're going to pick uh, any course and edit this course in the front end in the pricing section you will now see a course points course points area where you can define the points which are required for the course so if we add like 50 points for the uh, full course or for the subscription for subscription you need to enter the subscription duration so if we add full points for the course and save the course so now if you view the course you can see that we have the points appearing below the WooCommerce price so now if the user clicks on take this course the points will be deducted right from the points account because the user already has the points which are required to take this course so after the user has purchased the course the user can pursue the course just like any other course so this is regarding the purchase of the course now we also have a couple of dashboard widgets for this so if we go to the appearance widget section we can find few widgets so we have the dashboard micro balance widget so And we have the micro stats which shows the full statistics for the micro points so now if we refresh reload our admin dashboard so you can see we have the points balance so it also shows where our most of our balance is being spent so next we'll create gamification options for the course so as you can see we have taken this course which needs to be published so if we edit this course if we add a gamification option in the micred points so let's say we create a new points criteria award 10 points for starting a course and we award 10 points and we can set the maximum usage of this points awarding criteria and the user maximum and in the WPLMS module we can select it for course unit quiz assignment and a module ID which is optional you can save it so now we are awarding 10 points when the user starts the course so now if we start the course we should increase our balance so as you can see we our balance increased by 10 which means we got the points for the criteria as you can see and in the logs you can see we got the points for the criteria start course similarly if we go to our dashboard 
we can see our balance and the points criteria which is also visible in in this so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching